Ah, don't miss an opportunity to connect deep with someone. I don't know about you, but I love connecting with other human beings. Sometimes it's going to be in the form of dance, in the form of movement, in the form of conversation, or just eye-gazing, staying right there, present with that person. And the thing is that in this exchange, in this magic that happens right there, I realize myself, I've expanded my being by diving into their minds, by diving into their stories or whatever is going on right there. We have an opportunity to merge energies and expand. Sometimes there is going to be sensuality. Sometimes there is going to be erotic fire. Sometimes there is going to be compassion, conversation. Sometimes it's just going to be silence. But the thing is that in every single one of these moments, you have the opportunity to connect and to dive deep. So why not do it? You know, instead of being self-absorbed into the past, the present, into the future, into the stories, into the minds, into the judgment of who that person is, what they bring into your life, who are they? You know, once you put all that aside, you put the stories aside, you realize that there is a moment, magic, right there, pure magic that can be accessed. And it's there. You know, it's there multiple times a day. Sometimes by the end of the day, I realize I've been connecting deep with like 20, 30, 40 people. Sometimes it's sensuality involved. Sometimes it's just conversation. Sometimes, you know, I don't know, I don't design it. And there is no attachment either to the moment itself. There is no attachment to that specific person, to diving deep with that specific person. Sometimes it's just a dance. It's just a movement, a passing by. Namaste. And that's it. You know, it's all it takes, a little bit of teasing, a little bit of movement. But the point is that right there in these human interactions, there's lots of joy and lots of possibilities. And what I encourage you to do is like check for yourself. What is the unique gift that you have to give to somebody? You know, that person is a little bit like a musical instrument. You can play with their energies, with their emotions, dive deep, you know, connect, sometimes touch. Touch them, touch their soul, touch their bodies. You know, like look in them look into their eyes, look into their, their being and realize that there is magic right there, there is a miracle incarnated right in front of you. And so why not? No, try it out. Disconnect from the past, from the future, disconnect from stories and dare to be present right there in your truth. You look into this person's eyes and you think or you feel, you realize what is the highest possible potential right now. And you don't have to force it, of course. You know, if there is no resonance, you don't feel it. Just move. Hi, that's it. You know, you pass by. If you feel that the story or whatever is happening right now, the interaction is taking you into zones of shadows that you don't want to check. You know, if that person is going through some you know, solid drama or trauma or something that you don't want to dive into or that person starts getting aggressive with you, you can dive, you can dive out, you can step out, you can go like, you know what, I don't want to dive into that. So it's a play, it's, an, it's a play of energies, it's an art that you can play with. And realize also that there is conversation, but there is breathing, there is movement, there is touch, there is dance, there is a whole lot of things, there is silence. You know, some of the deepest conversations I have today are just in two pure silence. You can be in silence, look into somebody's eyes and have this deep merging of energies. So check it for yourself. What is the gift that you want to give today to the people that you're going to meet? What, what makes your uniqueness? What makes your truth? How does it feel when you're grounded and fully, fully present? Engage from that place. See what happens. I love you.